up the sky near downtown Fort Myers. Take a look. This happened on 3rd Street Thursday at around 9 o'clock. Fort Myers Fire Chief tells Wink News that the fire damaged both floors of the home before spreading to a mobile home and an RV park nearby. And this man, Anthony Vuolo, has been charged with arson in connection with the fire. He faced a judge this morning for his first appearance. Wink News reporter Jolina Esperto is live in downtown Fort Myers. And Jolina, you spoke to the homeowner. What more are we learning? The homeowner told me he is heartbroken. He lost his favorite cat, Lily, in this fire. And while he loves his home here in the historic district and he has compassion for people in need, he wants something to be done about the issue of safety here. And so do his neighbors. It's in flames with not a lot to salvage. A pet, a cat, Jerry Miller's cat loved dearly, gone in the flames. Yeah, everyone was safe. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, the worst part is our cat, Lillian, our favorite cat, was lost. Miller said he is thankful his dog made it out. Jerry, he's a really nice people, you know, him and his wife. Uh, you know, he keeps to himself and stuff, but he keeps his property nice, you know, and doesn't cause any problems. You know, the communities suffered a, a, a loss, not of a house, but of a person's home. Jerry Miller is uh, one of the most generous patrons, uh, and he moved over here to help us uh, be a better city. And but Miller was a victim to what Fort Myers police says was first degree arson. Police caught Anthony Vuolo at the scene before the fire was out. He was detained for questioning and booked into the Lee County Jail Friday morning. Neighbors told me he's been in trouble for trespassing in the community before. And they've been telling the city safety is an issue in the historic district of Fort Myers. If we were more safe, this fire wouldn't have happened. So let's bring that up and let's find a solution for it. If you live in fear, you have no quality of life. I don't care what your material assets are. Just sad. I love the city, but this is definitely, um, you know, makes me think twice. Councilman Bichette told me council has discussed loitering ordinances to help prevent exactly what just happened here on Miller's private property. He told me about 30% of his emails from citizens do concern quality of life. Now, there still is no updates from Fort Myers Police or the fire department on what exactly caused the fire, how it was started. That suspect still sits in jail. Live in Fort Myers, Jolina Sperdo, Wink News. Jolina, thanks. Right now,